Stretch those legs, beginners. And a one, a two. Burn, baby, burn! I don't need dishwashers. I need 100% world-class beefcake. I got a convention of women coming in for the long weekend, and my surfing dudes of Australia are all sick. I just wanted to say we caught some of the game today, and we're very impressed. You guys are really good. <laughs> Here you go, Mel. You were right. I couldn't keep a straight face. This is how you talk to a nun. Go smoke on the porch. We'll start when you're done. Who died and made you Mother Superior? <laughs> I've left the sisterhood, and I owe it all to you. <laughs> Don't bother with the cute face. I have five sons. You make eyes at me like that, I make you pot roast. You pervert! Oh, you hit my ear! Tell me where he is! And any minute now, I'm gonna see a symbol of divine wrath. Hey, anybody got an ashtray? <laughs> Just to know if I did a good thing. It doesn't matter. As long as they can't trace it back to the president. <laughs> You're in big trouble this morning. How mad is she? That'll depend on your excuse now, won't it? I don't want to hurt your feelings, but, you know, I, I think maybe you could have done better than this violin here. I'm Nurse Blothall. Would you join me in the bathroom, please? I've already had one of those. Well, now you get another. Here we go. I'll find a nice new vein. <laughs> Didn't I see you and one flew over the cuckoo's nest? You know, you did well for a man who can't stand the sight of blood. So here we have a nice red lollipop. <laughs> when a person only knows how to scream, they're kind of tough to get along with. And well, when they finally die, well, you're kind of glad. <laughs> <laughs> Geothermal energy is my friend. A plus. Steve, frog to fish liver transplant. A plus plus. Murph. Potato art. Well, at least this year you tried. D plus. And certainly least, Junior Healy. Yes, Miss Hicks? Don't yes, Miss Hicks, me, you vile little hellion. In all my 43 years of teaching, I have never encountered a more sinister presence in the classroom than the likes of you. Well, it ain't been no picnic for me, either. Well, it seems that once again, you haven't completed your assignment. Big surprise. Take a good long look at this lazy slacker who's about to get an F. Oh. Austin, do you know what F stands for? It stands for flunk. It stands for failure. It also stands for fat farm. What are you saying? I'm saying join the circus. <gasps> You'd make a fortune. We are back in the locker room with our guest, uh, Golden Tones, Ms. Sportbody 1994, the breathtaking Jeannie Darienzo. You ain't so bad yourself, Jack. You know, Jeannie, it must be hard work keeping a body like that in shape. Believe it or not, Jack, I eat a lot. And yet it goes to all the right places. Oh, you're such a bad boy. <laughs> You are such a hunk. You must live in the gym. No, uh, not really, but I can do five pull-ups. Six if I get a boost. I'll give you a boost, Sammy. What's your pleasure tonight? Chamber music, opera. Actually, I hear there's a great video arcade downtown. 
I know. Do you, Tango? I must say, this is a very impressive resume. You've worked for seven medical groups, three hospitals, and four wars. <laughs> United States Marine Corps, Recon, Charlie Company, Semper Fi! <laughs> well, uh, there, there seem to be a couple of years missing here. What were you doing between 78 and 82? That's classified. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, tomorrow's a very important day here for us. Yes, I'm very aware of that. Dr. William Gerber, head of the Professional Orthodontic Society, will be here at 1100 hours. I've done all the background research. <laughs> wow. You're as efficient as Dr. Pike said. I never sleep, sir. How'd you like check-in? I told him to go easy on you. I thrive on society's tawdry underbelly. Do you think I could get a hypoallergenic pillow? No. Well, the human spirit is stronger than... Then what? Then you'd expect... I just thought that would be something you'd want to know about the human spirit. I'm a social worker. I don't care about the human spirit. <gasps> this has been the greatest date I've ever been on in my life. I feel the same way. And I'm not just saying that because it's the only date I've been on in my life. <laughs> hey, beautiful and funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Me. Come in. What's on your mind, Mary Margaret? The paper on careers you assigned. I'm having trouble with it. What's the problem? Well, I was going to write that I wanted to be a nun. But then you quit, so I'm thinking there's something about it that's bad. Oh, it's not that it's bad. It's just... Well, it's just that I felt I might have made a mistake. Then why'd you become a nun? I don't know. I got the calling. What's the calling? Well, it's different for different people. For me, it was how I felt when I was away from church. I felt alone, empty. But when I was in church, I felt complete, whole, a happiness unrivaled. And then after I became a sister, the whole world never looked more beautiful. I saw this great human spirit in people that I'd never even noticed before. The air smelled sweeter, food tasted better. All my senses were awakened. I guess I fell in love with life, and God gave me that. Huh. Sounds nice. Nothing better. Thanks. You helped me a lot. Back at you. Huh. 